Hi everyone, GD here. I'm glad you could all join me today. Well, today I have a special coin that I want to share with you folks, but before so, let me get some business out of the way. If you are new to the channel or you've visited a few times and you just have not made the commitment yet, please do consider reaching down there and hitting the subscribe button. It costs you nothing to do so. And you may enjoy some of the content in the future and who knows maybe you may even learn something new whether from me or from one of the great subscribers that i have here on this channel that leave comments down below and that reminds me while you're here please do leave a comment and i always appreciate a thumbs up and when you do subscribe reach over there and hit that little bell and click all so that you can follow all my future videos well, what I have to share here with you is a gift that was given to me by my son and daughter-in-law. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's an interesting coin. It's a modern commemorative, as I had mentioned. This is a 2019 Denver half dollar celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing, first man on the moon which is pretty fascinating. But before I share the coin, let's talk a little bit about space because I think that's a very fascinating subject. Ever since early man began looking to the heavens, they started charting our stars and planets for use as religious purposes, as well as for determining seasons for planting, which I find very interesting. And of course, everyone knows of the story of Galileo. But the true interesting era of space began on October 4th, 1957, when Russia lost, launched the first artificial satellite called Sputnik 1. Well, it didn't take much longer than that for the U.S. to get involved. And on February 1st, 1958, the U.S. sent up Explorer 1. And the beginning of the space race began. On September 13th, 1959, Russia is the first to touch the moon with it intentional crash by Luna 2, and on May 25, 1961, JFK proposed that the U.S. should commit to landing a man on the moon first. Didn't take that long for that to happen, which is pretty amazing to me, and that's what this coin celebrates. What's really amazing to me is 19 times the U.S. and Russia sent rockets to the moon with the 20th attempt being the first successful landing of a man on the planet. Since 1993, a number of countries have sent rockets, spacecraft, up to the moon. Japan in 1993 was the first. The European Space Agency, India and China and Israel have all sent unmanned missions to the moon. Okay, enough of that, folks. Let's discuss this coin a little bit because I find it to be fascinating. I don't know if I need to add a magnifier to this or not. I know I'm getting a lot of reflection in it today. It's probably because of that black background on it. But anyway, as I mentioned, this is in celebration of the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11. It's I, I just can't get over that it has been 52 years since Apollo 11 landed on the moon. It just seems like yesterday to me. I remember watching it on TV. Pretty fascinating. And a pretty fascinating coin. On the averse of this, this is the concave side. And what we have here is... Um, some lettering across the top that says Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, and each of those are separated by different phases of the moon. The central um, design here in the center is of the fir first footprint on the moon. Down here it says Liberty, and over here it says In God We Trust. 
and the date is over here on this side. On the reverse, again, it's a beautiful coin, we have, at the time that uh, this landing took place, photographs were taken, and this particular um, scene we see here is a representation, you can actually see the outline design here, which is supposed to be the visor of uh, Buzz Aldrin. And in that visor on the photograph was a reflection of this scene with Neil Armstrong in the background. And of course, we have the uh, lunar um, craft over here on the side and the American flag there. And it says United States of America across the top, half dollar and down along the bottom, E Pluribus Unum. Fabulous coin, really beautiful. I'm really proud to have this one in my collection. I happen to love things that deal with space. I was pretty um, thrilled when um, President Trump decided to create a space force. And hey, what's that all about, folks? Are we trying to protect our nation from other countries? Are we trying to protect our rights to future mining on asteroids and planets? Or have we really been visited by ET in the past and the government feels threatened? Well, you tell me. I'd love to hear your comments down below. Okay, folks, I thought this was a pretty cool coin. Thank you, guys. I appreciate this gift. I will truly enjoy it. Okay, folks, I hope you're all doing well. I'd love to hear what you folks have been adding, whether it's been silver, gold, or coins. And uh, with that said, I hope you all have a safe and fun holiday weekend. And until next time, this is GD saying, take care.